Hello students. Today we will discuss the topic the working of Tomlinson surface meter. So the Tomlinson surface meter is a mechanical optical device. It was developed by Dr. Tomlinson of the National Physical Laboratory in UK so it is a mechanical optical device developed by Dr Tomlinson of National Physical Laboratory of UK. So here we can see the construction of this Tomley Sun surface meter. So the construction consists of the sensing element that is the stylus. So when the stylus moves up and down depending upon the irregularities of the workpiece. So construction consists of stylus which is the sensing element. It moves up and down depending on irregularities. So the stylus is constrained to move only in the vertical direction because of a leaf spring and a coil spring. So there is a leaf spring and a coil spring which is constraining or stopping the stylus for moving in any other direction. It can move only in the vertical direction. The tension in the coil spring causes similar tension in the leaf spring. So if uh, there is tension in this coil spring there will be the same amount of tension in the leaf spring. These two combined forces hold a cross roller in position between the stylus and a pair of fixed rollers. So there is a crossed roller. So this is the crossed roller which is shown here. Okay. So this is held in position by this fixed rollers and the stylus and a shoe is attached to the body of the instrument to provide the datum for measurement of surface roughness. The spring steel arm which is attached to the crossed rollers and it carries a diamond tip. So this is the diamond so the translatory motion of the stylus causes rotation of cross rollers above the point A. And this in turn is converted to a magnified motion of the diamond points. So when this stylus moves or the translatory motion occurs in this stylus, then this crossed rollers also will be rotating about the point a. So this is the point A. Here the cross rollers will start rotating and because of this rotation the motion of the diamond point will also take place. So this motion will cause a magnification and it will cause the motion of this diamond point. So this diamond point or the diamond tip traces the profile of the workpiece on the smoked glass sheet. So here there is a smoked glass sheet and this diamond tip will start tracing the profile of the workpiece on this glass sheet. Then the glass sheet is transferred to an optical projector and it will be magnified further. So the magnification of the order of 500 
the magnification of the order of 50 to 100 is easily achieved in this instrument. So in order to get a trace of the surface irregularities, a relative motion needs to be generated between the stylus and the workpiece. So to get the trace of the surface irregularities, we have to see that there is relative motion between the stylus and the workpiece. So this can be achieved by moving the body of the instrument slowly with a screw driven by an electric motor at a very slow speed. So we can move the workpiece or the body with the help of an instrument which is driven by an electric motor at very slow speed and anti-friction guideways are used to provide friction free movement in the straight path. So this is all about the working of Tomlinson surface meter.